What's up guys, I'm Damien from Adap and DNY and today I will show you how I've made a dumbbell rack. If you are new here, hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon and let's begin. So the first thing I'm going to do is to cut all wooden posts. I need to make a first cut to have a straight edge. From there I can now mark and cut the post to land. I've bought a new mantle saw and I will mostly use this for this project. Then I'm cutting all angle cut. The leg is mainly made with corner halving joint. I'm now marking and cut the joint with my mitre saw. You can do this on a table saw also. The leg height is marked and then cut to length. To join the two legs together, I need to mark the location of the two weight railing. Then a groove is cut into the leg. The corner halving joint is then reinforced with the walls. I can now mark and cut the two side boards of the leg with my circular saw. The two side boards are glued and screwed to the leg. The weight railing is fixed to the leg with ball and barrel nut. I'm now marking the top board for the dumbbell, cut with my circular saw. I've prepared some block boards to prevent the dumbbell to fall. Before we continue, let's polish everything. And yeah, some more polishing.
The block pieces are then glued and screwed to the top board. So for the weight rail, top board and back board, two coats of water-based varnish are applied. For the two legs, I'm painting it black. We can now move to the pre-assembly process. The two weight rails are fixed first. Then I've drilled the backboard and screw wood insert so that everything can be disassembled. The backboard is then fixed. For the top board, the same process is applied as the backboard. Now I'm marking the location of a weight tube support. Then a 25mm hole is drilled with a flat bit. The tube is then cut with a hacksaw. The tube is then fixed to the rail. So that's it guys, the dumbbell rack is now assembled and it's just wow. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and make sure to turn on the bell notification so that to get notified when I post a new video.